cheese But now all of our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able Welcome back to, to my channel. Welcome to Here. My name is Chelsea. I'm a second year middle school math and science teacher. So today is Friday. It is actually five o'clock, so well after the final bell. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody, at least in my wing, has gone home at this point to start their weekend. And I am still here. I originally was gonna leave as well and go grocery shopping, but I just did a Walmart pickup for tomorrow morning. So there's that. I am still here because I need to get some stuff planned for next week. I, I've been putting it off. I am one of those people that I either get it done during the week or I put it off until the end of the week and then I'm scrambling on Mondays. That was me last week. I put planning off and I didn't plan at all and I was scrambling on Monday. So I don't want to do that again to myself. So I thought that I would show you guys how I plan. I'm like partially planned I have an idea like I know of everything that needs to get done next week but it's all just like a mess in my brain right now also my desk is an absolute disaster today I never finished my Starbucks this morning so I'm gonna finish this while we plan and I thought that I would just show you like a real plan with me how I do it all also I lost a nail it's in my pocket I need to glue it back on because I'm going to a hockey game tomorrow and I want my nails to be still be done so um I had to I'm glad that I caught it when it fell off. Anyway, that was random. Anyway, so here is the deal. We are currently in our equations unit for math and we're in our solar system unit for science. And next week will be the last week of like instruction, new material, and a lot of review. And then the week after, like President's Day week, um, is a short week because we get that Monday off. And then that whole week, the first two days of the week, we'll be reviewing, and then the second two days of the week will be the actual test. So, I've got some stuff to plan. So Monday, I have pretty much everything planned. So far we've done in equations, I've done adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with equations. So we're doing one step equations, and we've done all that, and they're doing pretty well on it. So I want to, here's the thing, I've got Monday, Tuesday, no, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the following Wednesday. So I have four more days, right? And so I am always struggling with, do I wanna have a lot of review days or do I wanna not have a lot of review days? But I really only have one more instructional day that I need and that's word problems. And so because sometimes they kind of struggle with it, I'm wondering if I should do two days of word problems, like straight up, word problem practice this is all we're doing and one you know the other two days are just like review or if I should do review on Monday because we haven't touched equations in a while and then word problems and then review I don't know okay so here's what I've got so far on Monday I have that we would do operations review so all four operations review um, I will show you guys on my phone while I'm talking to you that way you can see what it is that I'm talking about. We'll do this side by side. So on Monday I have that we'll have a bell work and then we have to do this class kick writing thing and then we'll do the one step equations or yeah one step integers mix review. This is a math worksheet for kids uh, worksheet that I can print off and then algebraic equations we would do half of this together half of it in partners and then a check as whole group and then they would do an exit ticket for me. I would make uh, it four questions, one operation for each question and then the color by numbers. So my teammate, where are they? My teammate found this from that website that I sent her. Love this website for free um, coloring pages and activity pages. So we have this as an activity page but she made a color by number sheet based off of a couple of these. And so then it's color by number on the back. So I think we're gonna do these because it's Valentine's Day on Monday. So it'd be kind of cute. We're gonna do some of those. So I think I'll keep Monday as an all operations, whoop, all operations review day. And then we'll do these as well. So I think we're gonna do that. And then what I can do is Wednesday we can do word problems and I can have Wednesday and Friday be just word problems and then the Wednesday we come back from President's Day 
will be our final review where it's all review. Let's try that. Okay. So with that, my teammate printed off so many um, copies for me of different worksheets, which I love her for that. I think it is all of this stuff that is literally my desk is a disaster right now. Excuse me. Okay, so I have this writing one step equations worksheet that my teammate printed off. So, and we've already kind of done writing one step equations, but I think what I can do, again, they struggle with writing equations. What I can do is, let's see if we can find a video that helps explain it in a different way because a lot of times they really struggle with hearing me say the instructions or how you do something over and over again. Writing equations from word problems. So they struggle with that. So sometimes I like to try and find a video that kind of breaks it down for them in a different way. And at the difference of three n. I don't like that video. Okay, that's not really helping. Okay, so I'm not really finding anything. A lot of them just have stuff that really wouldn't help my kids. It would more so confuse my kids. So we're just gonna hope that they remember how to do it with me, which I do have a cubes um, anchor chart up. So maybe that would help just using that. Okay. We're gonna scrap literally all of that. If you put it in, then scrap it all. Okay, so on Wednesday, we will do this writing one step equations worksheet. And, okay, so we'll do this as a group. I kinda wrote this down already. So we'll do this together as a class and I've got the answer key. I always like to teach with the answer key because it just makes it easier, but I will give this to them. That way they can um, kind of like go through the word problem with me. In the past, I haven't given them one of these, but I think it might be easier for them to like annotate it with me. So I'm going to give them one of these. So we'll do writing one step equations, this worksheet together as a class. And then what they will do is they will do this one step equation. I have another copy that has the other side. Hold on. This is how frantic, honestly, it normally is for me. I am normally literally all over the place. Okay, yeah. So here it is front and back. So this has eight problems on it where they're, again, writing the equation and then they're solving for it. So I can make sure on our writing one step equations that we write the equation and then we solve for it so that they get that practice. And then this will probably be partner work. That way they can go through these eight problems together. And then she also printed off this for me. This is four questions, which is great because we do standards based grading out of four. So for here, they have to read the word problem and then they have to circle the equation that is correct, that matches the word problem that they're given, and then they have to solve for the value of x. So this will be like their exit ticket, it will just be like a full size piece of paper. So this will be Wednesday. Okay, so now I need to write that down before I forget, I need a pen. So I'm gonna write it down and then I'll show you guys like what I write. Okay, so I literally take out the pages of my planner because it can be a lot sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna start with a bell work and I'm gonna make the bell work on writing an expression from a phrase because I want them to get the idea that basically everything we're doing in e with the equations unit is the exact same of what we did with the expressions unit. All I'm doing is adding the equal sign and the solution. That's the only difference from last unit to this unit. So I want them to get a little bit of a uh, memory refresh on that. And then, like I said, we're gonna do the writing equations worksheet and then we're doing that whole group, that's WG. And then down here, we're gonna do the one-step um, equations from a word problem worksheet. 
They're gonna do that uh, with partners and then we're gonna do a whole group check. And then on this side of the planner is normally where I write like their um, like independent practice. So the first thing is that they're gonna do an exit ticket and then sometimes it just kind of depends on how the class is going. Um, I've got written down a book it, a Kahoot or a quizzes. It kind of just depends on how the class is moving. If everybody's kind of moving at the same pace, then we'll do like the book it and stuff as a whole class. But if I see that some kids are like taking longer than other kids, like I that happens, it really depends on the day. So I never really know. Um, then I'll just go ahead and assign it to them and put it on the Canvas page and they can do it at their own pace as an early finisher. And then I'm probably gonna try and get some early finisher work for them, that way they just have it. Um, and I've got an idea of where I can put that. So Wednesday is planned and I don't need to print anything for that because it's already done. So this is what I'm given, this is what they're doing. Okay. So this is Wednesday. I'm going to paper clip it. And I'm going to put it off to the side. I might even get some copies done today, but we'll see. Okay, so this is Wednesday. And let me put Monday's work away as well. These are extra copies and answer keys and stuff. So I definitely need these. I just don't need them in my world right now. So these can go up here. Right there. Um, the things we're doing on Monday, I do need to print out um, one copy and I need to print out my teacher copy of stuff. And I am going to do that before I leave because I like to have at least my copy of everything already printed because it's easier to just grab your copies in your paper in the morning. Or at least for me, it's easier for me to like grab my copies and my paper and head to the copier and do that than it is to like get logged in and find my stuff and download it and print it and figure out how many copies of it I need and then grab my paper. Like it's just a lot of steps versus just having one page already printed off, either your teacher copies, your answer keys if you use those, and then your student copies, have them already printed. That way you can like physically see this is what I'm doing each day. And then you can just take it to the copier in the morning when you need it and make your copies that way. Is how I prefer to do it. My battery's dying, so let me change that really quick, and then we'll do Thursday and Friday. Okay, so um, Tuesday I skipped, but I because I already planned it, which I forgot to talk about it. On Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays we do science. Um, so on Tuesday I have that we're gonna do a bell work on inner planets because we talked about inner planets um, this week. We talked about them on Tuesday, and I made this note sheet. So we're talking about inner planets. And I just put the four inner planets and then on the bottom I put um, what do they all have in common. And so I used Brain Pop. I love Brain Pop for science. Honestly, I love it for math as well, but for science it is perfect for what we do in uh, sixth grade here. And so I went on Brain Pop and they have a solar system video. So I played the video, it's like five or six minutes long, between five and six minutes long. And it just kind of gives an overview of the entire solar system, all the planets, the sun, all that kind of stuff. So I played that for them just to kind of get them introduced to the solar system again. And then they have a video on each planet. And the videos I don't think go past like three minutes. I've only looked at the inner planet ones so far, but they are all super short. So what I did was I made this note sheet and honestly I just cut it so that it would fit in their um, notebook. But I made this note sheet and while those videos were playing, I had them just like jot down little notes about each one depending on what the video talked about. And then I also found my lights are flickering. Um, I also made a, um, I didn't make it. I found a YouTube video. It's like a puppet thing. I'll, um, show the video here in a second or I'll like show you the clip of it. Um, but it does a really good job explaining the differences between the inner and outer planets. And so I played that for them. I played the whole thing and then I'm going to do that again on Thursday. So I really like this. And then when they were done watching the videos, 
all of those videos. Then we went over what each planet was about. That way if a kid missed something, they could like just quickly jot it down. These are literally like jot down notes. They are not long form notes. They are write a bullet point about everything, like little facts that you hear. And then at the bottom, what do they have in common? We talked about that as class. And we're really focusing on the big things that they have in common. So like, what are the big things? I don't wanna say because some of my kids have found my videos, but um, the bigger things that the, these planets have in common is what we're focusing on. So I made the exact same thing for outer planets with the other planets um, listed inside of the outer planets. So we're doing that again with the brain pop videos. So they're gonna watch all the brain pop videos um, to fill in their note sheet. And then we'll talk about the differences between the inner and outer planets or we'll talk about what the outer planets have in common. Then we need to focus on their differences and what they have in common. So I made um, a little craft. I haven't printed it yet. I can show you it. Let me show you really quick. Okay, so just to show you kind of really quick. So I made this and it just has all of the planets in a little box. And then these are the like main facts that we're talking about. And so I need to actually include um, one of these tags that says inner and then one that says outer and I wanna make them a little bit bigger. And so they're gonna cut these out and they're gonna paste them on a colored piece of paper and they're just going to sort them. And I'm probably gonna have them color it as well. They can look up like what the planets look like and everything like that and kind of color it um, I'll, mainly because it will take more time <laughs> and I need more time in this class and so that they get more familiar with all the planets. And so yeah, they'll just sort and then they will sort the facts that go with the planets and everything like that. So, so they won't have like specific, we're not testing over specific facts about each planet. It's just in general, what do they have in common? So really quick before I forget though, because I'm gonna need to print this out so that I have a copy of it. I wanna make one tag that says the inner planets. I'll make this puppy big. Like that's beautiful. And can we make it longer? Yes, we can, but that's gonna require me to move some things around so it all prints out beautifully. I've been making this like all day because I've been trying to figure out another like quick review activity and we haven't really gotten to do any of my other science crafts because we haven't been in school during those. Like we didn't really get to do my seasons craft. We didn't really get to do my eclipse and tides craft either. So we're gonna make this one. Okay, and then I just like to do a quick print preview to make sure that none of my little lines and boxes are gonna be cut off. Cute, and I think I want to make these bold. Oh, nope, I don't. I don't want to do that at all because it's going to change it. That's fine. Okay, great. So I'm going to print that. And they'll do that craft. And then I found a... I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the note sheet. Yes, I do need that. Because we need to print the outer planets part. I found a... Um, vocabulary on inner and out of planets. So we might do that or I might try and find like another blicket or a Kahoot or something like that. So let me write that down. I don't know how long the craft is gonna take. So and like, I don't wanna just overload them on stuff. Okay, then Thursday, we're doing asteroids, comets, meteors. So, for that I have literally no idea. Actually, that's not true, hold on. I'm pretty sure we have something in our shared drive that talks about that stuff. So I would definitely recommend like using the materials. I feel like you're like looking at me from behind. 
Um, I would definitely recommend like using the materials that you already have, especially as a newer teacher, like resources that you already have, resources that your teammates have, like ask your teammates. Oh, that would have been a lot better to have. Um, but not everything, you know, works in the exact same way. So sometimes I do like to make my own stuff because it doesn't fit exactly like how you need it, depending on like what your school requires, what your curriculum is, what is made for you sometimes doesn't always like completely line up with what you actually have to teach. So sometimes you do have to be flexible. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Brain Pop has something on asteroids and comets, but I don't think they have anything on meteors, which is kind of funny. I think I feel like they would have something on meteors, but I don't think I saw one. So let's look up space. Okay, yeah, they have one on asteroids. They have one on comets. They don't have one on meteors. Let's check. Meteor. Nope, just asteroids and comets. There's tons of videos. So really quick, I'm gonna look through these videos and try and find one and then I'll let you know if I found one. Okay, so I watched a couple of videos. I found a video, it's called Less Than Five um, from Astronomate, Astronomite, Astronomate, I think is how you say this. Um, but it talks about the difference between comets, asteroids, and then all of the meteor differences. But I think I'm gonna start them watching the comets and the asteroid video on brain pop because they talk about pretty specific stuff that i want them to know so they're going to start by watching the root down they're going to start by watching the comet and asteroid video and then they're going to watch the lesson five video because the brain pop videos don't really talk they talk about meteors but they kind of like very briefly bring up meteors and meteorites but they t don't talk about a meteoroid so i need them to talk about that so that's why we're going to talk about the or i'm going to show them the less than five video as well and then they're going to be filling out this note sheet which i will show you that one of my teammates got hold on one of my teammates had this um so i'm going to show you so we have this and so they're gonna fill out these notes. So very similar to the note sheet that I made, they're just gonna do like jot notes. And then I'm gonna print this out as well. This is like a teacher guide that kind of like talks all about what should be filled in here. So I'm gonna fill that out that way. If there's any like gaps in information, I can like fill it in based on like the teacher printout that I have. And then I found a, oh, I should have showed you. I found a color by number on Teachers Pay Teachers. It was $2.50, but it talks about asteroids, comets, and meteors. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> and they're gonna do that color by number as well, just to give them another activity, more practice. And then if we have more time, again, it just kind of varies with how, with timing. Um, we'll do like a co a book it or a quizzes or something like that, or we'll do early finishers. While I was listening to those videos, I planned for next Friday. So they're gonna start with a bell work. Um, oh, I need a bell work for that day. So I'll get a bell work for that day. But they're gonna start with a bell work for um, writing equations. Then we're gonna go into um, the math wor worksheet for kids. Uh, can I talk? Math worksheets for kids um, that I found. And it's gonna be one step um, word problem. So there's they separate it by adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing, which I like. So I'm gonna have one sheet of each for them to do. We'll do like the first two problems from both of those worksheets together. The last three, cause there's five to a, a page. The last three they'll do on their own or I might do it with like their table partner or something. And then we'll do a whole group check. And then that will probably be it for math on Friday because today in class, um, I had them do retakes for the first half of class, but then the second half of class, we did a STEM challenge and they built catapults. And at first they were like, oh, why do we have to do this? Like, what's the point of this? But they actually really had fun, I think, building catapults and kind of seeing how they worked. And they had a competition of whose catapult could go the farthest. I forgot to give my last block their candy. So I owe them candy, um, which I probably should have picked up more candy with, in my Walmart order. Might have to add some Jolly Ranchers or something to that order. Um, 
but I think they really had fun with it. So I asked them, like, is this something that you would like to do? Like, would you like to have, like, a STEM day? Because I want to introduce more fun Fridays, but I don't want them to just, like, literally be in here chilling, playing games because that's going to get out of hand, and they're, like, they're going to ruin it. Just being completely honest, they're going to ruin it. So I think if we find, if I can find, like, STEM challenges for us to do, that would be really fun. So I'll find another STEM thing for us to do next Friday in the second half of class. We'll do our STEM challenge for fun Friday. So... I'm not planned, but I'm not done. <laughs> and it's six o'clock. Um, okay. So what I need to get done is I need to go ahead and do there. I still have this, but they might be able to do this next week. Um, I need to get these little things that I have printed and I need to go ahead and make my canvas page so that that is done. So I'm gonna quickly make my canvas page and then we'll go to the copier and make my copies for next week and then I'll show you how I wrangle this mess and put my copies away for next week and then we should be done. I think that's all I have to do is my canvas page and make those copies so that everything is set up for me on Monday. Oh, and I might go ahead and uh, change out my board and I'll show you guys how I do that too. Okay, so I made my agenda page. I haven't made my bell works and stuff, but those are pretty easy to make. So I need to make my bell works and my exit tickets for this week, but that's next week me's problem. I did most of her work that she normally doesn't do, but um, I will go in and I'll add like the active links for my kids to use. Most of the stuff will be like a paper copy, but for kids that are absent or something like that, I'll make the active link for them um on each individual day that way i don't have to do it all right now it can just be done every individual day okay so now i need to send a couple more things to the printer i need to get my the math worksheets for kids so i need to print this need to print this on one side. I need to print multiplying and dividing. Print. Okay, so that was Friday stuff. So I got Friday stuff printed. I need to print this. What page is this? 33. I need 32 and 33 from this. that's Thursdays I need to print the color by number is it this? Yep. I need page five and page three from this and it looks like they print weird okay. I'll print those that's Thursdays. Wednesday, all of those are printed. I need Monday, which is in my drive. And where's my thing? Equations. I need this page printed. Where's the print button? What's happening? Download it. That's fine. Download. Print. Print that. And the reason why I don't print all of my copies like for the week anymore is because I never know when we're gonna be here for the full week. We go virtual all the time and it's just a wait, it's a huge waste of paper. So I don't like to do that. And then I need to go, that's why it's just easier for me to print the one little things that I do know that I'm gonna have because even if the kids don't come, I like to already have my teacher copies done and made. That way they're already done and made for next year or whatever. So 
Okay, and then integers mixed. Okay, I think I wanted one of these as a warm up. And this, I really just need to print the. I really just need to print the actual um, answer key for this one because I'm not going to give them this. They're going to do this in their notebook. I need to make sure that these are all positive numbers though because we don't teach negatives and I haven't been looking at that. That's positive, that's positive, positive, positive. Got all this printed. Okay, cool. Let's run to the printer. And then I think we're ready to go home. Well, no, run to the printer, clean this mess, and then go home. Okay, so I'm trying to let you guys see. Sorry, I wrote this up. Um, how I'm gonna do this. So I just got everything off of the printer. I guess I could take my mask off. Um, how I got everything printed. So so, and then how I actually organize it all. So these were my copies from earlier that were already printed. So Monday, and I like to try and put it in order if I can. That way in my brain, I know what's happening. So this one step equations we're doing as whole group. And I have the answer key because they're just doing a warm up practice. Then they need this algebraic equations. They need copies of this and I need the answer key. Then after this, they're doing an exit ticket, which will be on Canvas, so I'll make that. And then the color by number and Valentine's Day activity pages, which are all of these. So this is Monday. Tuesday, the bell work I need to make Outer planet snow cheat. Dang it, I didn't print that. Okay, I need to print that. <laughs> I'm not gonna print it now, I don't feel like it. And I didn't print the craft, oh my goodness. Okay, well, let me make sure that I save it because I don't feel like walking all the way back there. I can't believe I forgot that. I kind of think that I already thought that I hit print on it, but I definitely didn't. Okay, inner and outer planets. Okay, so I will print both of those next week. I don't need them on Monday, so it's not that big of a deal. But, okay, so I've got the note sheets and I've got the craft. Okay, don't have those printed, but that's fine. Then, Wednesday, the writing equations. Oh, it's right here. Writing equations, the one step. And then the algebra word problems, which I already put. Okay, so this is Wednesday. Then Thursday, the asteroids and comets. They need the note sheets. I've got the teacher notes. And then the color by number did not print well. I need to scale this down because it didn't print very good at all. So I'm gonna have to reprint it. And then this didn't print out at all. It like completely cut off all of the options there's supposed to be three options so i have to scale this down i wish it would have told me i don't know why it's this huge but yeah like it doesn't need to be that big and that's really annoying that i just wasted that but i'll see this and be like oh yeah i need to redo this so that'll be that on thursday And then, oh, that didn't go on there correctly. There we go. And then Friday, add, subtract, my notes, multiply, divide, my notes. 
and then the stem challenge I don't know what stem challenge I'm gonna do yet so I'll figure that one out I definitely just I came up with like the stem challenge today I was like we need something else to do today I don't want to retake all day long that's gonna be really boring the kids are gonna get restless I have a ton of popsicle sticks a ton of um, all that other stuff so I just kind of threw that together today off the top of my head okay all of these extra sheets of paper that I don't really need paper clip them and they will go with extras. That's fine. So go over here. And you can put this in the back with guys I have so much stuff on my desk right now it's not even funny. trash but that's okay I took out a bunch of our retakes for today and then I ended up having them do them all online so I need to file these away so that's next week me problem I'm probably not even gonna put these in the back tonight honestly they're probably all just gonna stay right here on my desk because I'm ready to go I'm hungry I want my tricks away that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So, yeah. Oh my. A lot of us. Need to file all this stuff away. So we're just going to neatly stack it on the edge of my desk. Uh, this will need to go in the back as well at some point. I don't really want that like that. My kids are, so it's Black History Month, obviously, and we're doing a um, door decorating contest. And I thought that, so my kids are each going to research a person. So I made these. I like put their, um, I found a picture of them on Google. They like gave me a post it note. I had them figure out like three people that they would be interested in. Um, researching. And so they gave me a bunch of people. And I told them, like, it doesn't have to be people from like, early 1900s or late 1900s it can be people like within the last few years it can be kids it can be younger adults like it can be anybody that's contributed because black history is constantly like being made um and I wanted to drive that home so they found like a lot of people like this kid um they did um like this kid did Chadwick Boseman so um yeah but I printed them out so they're in little rectangles and the next week we're gonna build like a brick wall on my door and we're gonna I'm gonna uh, cut out red rectangles like in red paper that are a little bit bigger than this and they're gonna glue them onto the rectangles and then we're gonna build the brick wall with these bricks so it's like um what was I saying it's like uh sorry I'm really tired and ready to go home so it's like we're still building black history like Black history isn't something that has happened and we just remember it. Like, it's still being built. It's still being created. So, yeah. They thought that was really cute. So, that's that. I need to get a little clip for this. And this will stay on my desk as well. Because they work on this in our morning time. I need to put these spoons and stuff away. See, this is why. This. This is, the, this is my grocery list, actually. I started it because I have a picture of my grocery list on my phone. This is why I needed a whiteboard, a desk whiteboard, which I do use my desk whiteboard, and I'm actually erasing it because I used it earlier today, and it came in handy. Why I didn't do that earlier for this, I don't know, because I just wasted this. So now I have to put this away. It's going to be awkward because it has half of my grocery list on it. I have stuff everywhere. Please tell me that your desk looks like this too at the end of the day and at the end of the week. Please tell me it's not just me. Also, I need to get, my room hasn't leaked all week, guys. I'm really happy, so I'm hoping that it doesn't as well again. I, print, I made these, I cut these out um, with the die cut machine, they're little flowers. I had the inserts, but they got kind of ruined. Um, so I might have to make some more, but I made these 
for like maybe a little garland. I might do like a little spring garland because my room is like not decorated really at all right now. So I made these and I just need to put it together. So those sit on my desk as well over here in the corner. Okay, almost there, almost done. I can get rid of the cheer calendar. And then I need to put these pieces of my planner. Sorry this vlog is so chaotic. I hope that you're okay with it, but I wanna show you like what's, how I really plan. <laughs> Cause this is real. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put these pages back. I like taking the pages out because I'm right-handed and so like trying to write in these boxes right here with how big this spine is can get really annoying. And then I normally leave my planner open on my desk over here. That way I can just look at it while we're going through stuff. It gets in the way sometimes and it's annoying, but it's what works. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just found some Oreos that a kid gave me for Halloween. That's not okay. Okay, check my email. Email is good. Oh, I probably should make my classroom screen. That was also next week's me problem. Okay. Computer closed and off. There's that. Oh, let me show you guys how I do my agenda. Normally I just write the agenda so literally everything that I wrote in my planner goes on here and then the materials for today so it just tells them like what they need to be getting. So the worksheets that I printed off and that I will print them off for the kids goes in what's called the pickup center which is over there. Um, their math notebook which is in the back and then a pencil or a pen. I don't care a lot of kids like to write in pen and it is what it is. Um, and then I write what the topic is, so equations with all operations, their standard, and then their I can statement. Let me turn this down because it's a little bright. There we go. Their dubs and L's is just uh, how I communicate with them, what their learning criteria is for the day, or their learning objective, like the goal on how, basically how they get their I can statement, like what do you have to do in order for that to be true. I call it their dubs and L's because they understand like, oh, I took a dub or I took an L on that. So I just tell them that. So their W's and L's for the day is add, subtract, multiply, and divide to isolate and solve for a variable. Homework, any unfinished classwork. I don't really assign like specific, here's what you're doing at home. Whatever you don't get done in class is homework. And then I always have the date of their next test and what subject it is because their science test will come first. And then their math test is the day after that. Yeah, I think that that is it. It is 629 right now. So I am 
very much ready to go home and need to go and get food for us and then go home and relax. I'm glad that I stayed and got it all done. Am I upset that it took an hour and a half? Yes, would I have loved to be home? Yes, but then I would have been stressing about it and having to do it at home, which is a lot harder for me. It's harder for me to plan at home because I don't have all my space. I don't have my monitor. I don't have all my stuff. I can't print stuff out the same way. Like, to print stuff out, I have a printer, but it's not the same as um, being in school. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I know that it was super chaotic, but this was very real plan. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, we made it to 500 subscribers and I can't even explain to you guys how much it means to me that 500 of you are following along on my journey and you are a part of the family. So thank you so much for your continued support. It means so much to me. I love each and every one of you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. That was it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, bye. But she's somebody else in the making first. She's just gotta stop all the faking and chill.